Hi, this is A Minute of Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now this week I want to talk about why you're not an app developer unless you've actually released an app. Okay, so I talk to a lot of different app developers. I talk to them through mastermind groups. I, you know, talk to them through email. Uh, a lot of app developers, we, we kind of get together and we discuss ideas. We talk about you know different ways we can improve things and stuff like that. However, I'll, I also talk to a lot of um, app developers who've never actually released an app. And it's surprising how many there are, right? Now, there's there's a so as a software developer, I, I kind of understand this. As software developers, we get kind of a stage fright when it comes to going live. I'm, I'm the worst at this. When I've been working at like uh, the investment banks or any of the big contracts that I've done in the past, uh, we'd be working for months on a project, and when it comes time to go live, it's always like, yeah, I, I kind of like another week, or I like another two weeks, or, or whatever. And even if everything's been tested and everything is fine, you kind of got all these variables going on in your head, like what if the server goes wrong, or what if they don't deploy it right, or what if, what if something else happens? And there's loads of things that could go wrong. Uh, but the only way to really know, you know, specifically that everything's going to work, is to actually release. So, and this is something I noticed with app developers. We kind of got the same mentality. Uh, they, they they will develop but they don't actually release and I'm I'm very much prone to that way myself it, it helps the fact that I I commission uh, apps to be developed too because when, when I'm paying for the app to be developed the last thing I want is for it to be sitting in development for another two weeks or you know six weeks or whatever so uh, this is uh, one of the nice things about apps is that they're small they're easy to put out uh, they're easy to deploy uh, but uh, but many people don't actually get to that step in fact if you look at most of the computer books out there at the moment about building apps you can say if you want to learn how to do an app you know <laughs> the world is your oyster because there's so many different books out there however where they're all I mean and I mean all of them are very weak it, when it comes to actually taking your app and putting it onto Google Play or putting it onto iTunes for some reason uh, there's there's like a big knowledge gap when it comes to that area and in fact working with outsource uh, you know developers you would be surprised at how many people I know who have never actually when, when you get down the the part where you're actually releasing the app, they don't even know how. They've never actually been through that process. So it's it's amazing. Uh, so what I want to say this week is, is I want to quote the Steve Jobs Apple uh, quote uh, that that's very f uh, famous, which is "Real artists ship." So. Until you actually release your app onto the app market, you don't know anything, right? The, the fear is that you're going to put it on the app market and millions of people are going to download it and there'll be a bug and everyone will say something bad about it. The reality is it might be thousands. It will probably be hundreds, uh, hopefully at least hundreds. Uh, so you have time to, to fix things after it goes live. The, the last thing you want to do is release a perfect app that you spend far too much time and far too much money on. Uh, and believe me, I've done this. I've you know I've done this over and over again. We've released apps where we spent, where we just made them perfect. Where we were at the point of release, and we decide, oh, let's just put in another feature, or let's change that art, or you know, let's do something else. Let's put something else in before we go live, and then it just, it's a dud, or it you know, it takes far too long to get it up there where we could have added that stuff in later. So, my message this week is: if you're an app developer, or if you're commissioning an app. Do not hesitate on shipping it. You're not going to get millions of downloads the first day, but you will get hundreds, and you'll learn more from those hundreds than you do from, you know, from you know weeks more of testing. So uh, that's it for this week. Now, if you're watching this on the iTunes podcast, please leave a review. I'd love to hear what you say. And if you're watching this on YouTube or LinkedIn or Facebook, please leave a comment or like the video or subscribe to the channel. Uh, so that way we can keep in touch in the future. So that's it. Talk to you next week. Bye. Thank you.